Today I'll teach you how to use HTTP context in ASP.NET Core version 8. So let's start. We'll start by configuring the program.cs class. Inside the program.cs class, you already have an object builder. Now this particular object has a class services which has a method add HTTP context accessor. We need to call this method inside the program.cs class. This completes the configuration part. Now let's move to the controller. Inside the controller, I am creating a private property of I HTTP context accessor. This particular property will be set using dependency injection. So for dependency injection, I am creating a constructor of home controller class and I am passing the object of I HTTP context accessor as a parameter to it. Inside the constructor, I am setting the accessor property with the dependency injected accessor object. Now this completes the dependency injection part and now the property is ready to be accessed. Now inside the action method, I am creating an object of HTTP context class and now I am setting this object using the HTTP context object of the accessor property. Now in order to test this property, I am adding a debugger and let's execute the project. As you can see, the debugger has been hit. Now in runtime, we can easily view all the necessary properties which are present in the HTTP context object. So this completes this video. Today we learned how to access the HTTP context class and its child properties in ESP.NET Core application version 8. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please also click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications. Goodbye.